Hey, we really appreciate y'all for tuning in. You already know what time it is. Nah, nah. Welcome to the podcast. Go. We gon' keep on pounding, juke them out his cleats. Boy, I'm too fast. Go. The field know we gon' spag. CMC gon' run it back. Defense out here going crazy. Super Bowl, we want it back. Pause up. Pause up. It's on the us. Hat the top. It's time to rock. No, we won't stop. Open it up. I need that block. I, I got key yeah. with me. Cold yeah. with me. Hurts yeah. with me. Kill yeah. with me. So guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on in. Get warmed up. Come on in. It's all that right. Cutty cut right. Showing love to the Cutty cut right, man. One of the best Carolina Panther videos out there. The defense is playing incredible. Hey, you surrounded by some weapons. When you left, I was traumatized. Go. Now you're back, so it's time to rise. Yeah. Now you're back, I'm not surprised. The divorce wasn't finally oh. over. Cam Newton finally came Let's home. Go. Two years, that was long enough. Oh. Pants the nation, we apologize. Oh. Without you, it was really Let's tough. Go. Quarterback got the quarterback, yeah. but we know ain't nobody like Cam. Yeah. Ace Boogie, that Super Bowl got your name yeah. on it. Let's ride, oh. Cam. Go to my closet, I pick up my jersey. It's still hanging in the same spot. Yeah. Pants the fans on planet Earth. Yeah. Fall yeah. celebrating, cause we straight now. Welcome home, welcome home. Ace Boogie, we got a Super Bowl to win, man. Let's go. Keep pounding. Welcome, welcome. What's up? Thank you for joining me. It's Hertz bringing you more of your exclusive content brought to you on behalf of Keep Pounding TV and Nine Lives Panthers podcast. Hey, guys, do me a favor, though. Everyone, before we start, Hit the likes, share this video, share your thoughts in the comment section below. We would love to hear your perspectives. So, history will be made when Ron Rivera and Cam Newton take the field Sunday in Charlotte. only time that I, I don't want to say I benched him, but the only time that I did was when, when, you know, I, I got him to finally admit that his foot really was hurt. Um, and then we put him on IR uh, my last year. No, um, it's a statement, man. You know, I know I said I'm back, but in essence, we back. And to that point, They'll be on opposite sidelines, opposite sidelines, which makes things a little intriguing, my ladies and gents. I'm seeing a lot of fans and pundits claiming Rivera will lead the against Newton's Carolina Panthers, who will have him starting under center for the first time since week two of the 2019 season. Newton signed with the Panthers last week after starter Sam Darnold suffered an incomplete, incomplete fracture, folks. Uh, particularly in that right shoulder region that we, you know, slowly found out about, strangely. Uh, um, <laughs> this isn't the first time coaches have faced their former quarterbacks this season. Actually, in week four, Tom Brady 
and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers beat Bill Belichick's New England Patriots in Foxborough in the first meeting between the two. Matt Ryan and the Atlanta Falcons were embarrassed by the Dallas Cowboys. Boy, we enjoyed that game, didn't we? <laughs> and defensive coordinator Dan Quinn, whose defense allowed just three points against their coach's former squad. Now, will that happen this week? Do you guys think that'll happen this week? The Panthers oh, are God. sneaking oh, into the playoffs. I tell you what, this weekend's game marks the the, ru- the rubber match between player and coach. For Washington to win like they claim, Rivera needs to outperform the former leader of the past offense, of his past offense, excuse me. What, you know, I saw the uh, the uh, some of the plays they ran, saw the, some of the stuff that uh, we had done with them and saw them doing some similar things. Many have joked that NFL stands for not for long. <laughs> and for Washington football team, quarterback Taylor Heineke both held true after the Week 10 win over the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Quote, unquote, this is what uh, Taylor said uh, on Monday in his presser. He says, uh, It just took uh, took Monday to really enjoy it. Head on and went down to the city and just, you know, really enjoyed it. But, you know, once yesterday came, Tuesday, um, it was time to, to move on. And One day isn't a lot of time to bask in the glory of your biggest NFL co- accomplishment to date. But that's the nature of the business, folks. By Tuesday, Heineke's attention turned to the Carolina Panthers in week 11 in Charlotte. We were going through a four-game skid there where we were losing, Heineke said. To get a game like that and win, we have a lot of confidence going into this one. So we feel good about it. Now, this is what Taylor said. I mean, I don't know. I know he's feeling himself. and I know he, he, he thinks he really beat you know a really good team in the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I'm not saying that they're terrible. But what I'm saying is they haven't seen they haven't seen a defense yet. <laughs> His confidence is good. I mean, confidence is good to have, you know. But now for the hurtful truth. It won't be enough to beat the Panthers on Sunday. Washington football team should like its chances, though. I mean, if they're going to like anything, the only thing they do have is chances. <laughs> the Panthers that are you know, who are five and five and Washington three and six don't appear to be far off from each other. Carolina is built around its defense and is dealing with question marks at quarterback at the present moment. Defensively, Carolina is in the top five in the league in total defense, pass defense and third and fourth down defense. The, the Panthers are six in points allowed per game at a whopping 19.3 points allowed. <laughs> That's uh, Those are nice numbers right there. Um, the big weakness shows up in the red zone, though. If you're going to, if you're going to find, if there is a weakness on our defense, it's in the red zone where we rank 30th by allowing a 73.9% success rate to opponents inside the 20 yard line. Heineke played the best game of his professional career, probably against the Bucs. His 81% completion is his best, and his 110.4 quarterback rating is his second best as a starter. For a quarterback who has struggled to find consistency in his play, he'll have come up big again. He'll have to come up big again. The quarterback matchup will feature former Carolina teammate Cam Jarrell. Newton. <laughs> what do you guys think? You think that's a fair matchup? Taylor, Heineke, and Cam Newton. I know they don't play against each other, technically speaking, but... This comes out to be a slugfest. I mean, this could get real interesting. And uh, again, you know, that place is going to be rocking on Sunday. You know, he again, like I said before, he's he's a uh, he's like the god of Charlotte. Everyone loves him up there. And I know a lot 
of you are probably wondering and studying a film to see how quarterback Cam Newton will help secure victory in week 11 at home to the Washington football team. Am I right? I mean, if you guys are not reading into it or at least starting to wonder, it's Thursday, we're starting to heat up. I know it's crossed your mind. What an occasion this is going to be, folks. <laughs> Tickets are sold out, you know. Tepper and uh, everyone in the organization claim it's not about tickets, but surprisingly, we have like this 40% increase in, in tickets, <laughs> ticket pricing, you know, go figure. Cam Newton's sensational home return. The quarterback is trending towards starting under center in week 11 against the Washington football team, according to head coach Matt Rule. Something that will lead to an electric atmosphere that's going to shake Bank of America Stadium to its foundations. Guys, listen up. You don't sign Cam Newton to not start. I can tell you that. I can tell you that. I mean, who 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 wastes money just to throw it on the bench? What you're gonna you're gonna take a big pile of, you know, a big like a bag full of money, you're just gonna put it somewhere and not use it. I mean, some people do that, but you're gonna use a little bit of it, right? Newton has been through quite a dramatic few days, even by his high standards. The signal caller was brought back to the Carolina Panthers on Thursday and was active for the game at the Arizona Cardinals and even contributed to two touchdowns from his opening two plays from scrimmage during the team's dominant victory on the road. Standing in Newton's way this weekend is former head coach Ron Rivera, who was instrumental in drafting the Heisman Trophy winner number one overall out of Auburn. The pair developed a special bond during Carolina's glory days in the 2010s. But that will count for nothing when it's time to get down to business in week 11. That will count for nothing. An added sense of intrigue for what is going to be one of those days everyone associated with the Panthers will never forget. (laughs) With this in mind, here are four ways Newton can help the Panthers achieve success against the Washington football team as the entire NFL world watches on. I I mean, the stadium is going to be rocking, folks. I mean, these tickets are sold out. This game is going to be huge, huge. Cam Newton, if if Cam Newton's going to win against the Washington football team, he's got he, he must ignore everything going on around him right now. I mean, he's been down this road before. I mean, remember 2015 Super Bowl? It could be easy for anyone to get overawed by the occasion given everything that's happened between Cam Newton and the Carolina Panthers. His messy departure in 2020 left a sour taste in the mouth of fans and the signal caller, only for the organization to do a complete reverse and bring the former NFL MVP back following a failed experiment with Teddy Bridgewater and Sam Darnold. Sunday will be emotional. There's no getting away from that. There's no getting away from that. It's it's the bottom line. Newt will be feeding off the energy at Bank of America Stadium like never before. It's something he's missed for almost two seasons. I mean, I think you guys can tell with those 50 tickets he's given away. I mean, that's pretty special. You know? (laughs) Keeping his own emotions in check is going to be absolutely crucial especially as Ron Rivera will know exactly how best to counteract his supreme threat. What, you know, I saw the, uh, the, uh, some of the plays they ran, saw the, some of the stuff that uh, we had done with them and saw them doing some similar things. That was kind of cool. I mean, you know, that's, uh, that was- Although Newton is vastly experienced and takes everything in his stride with a confidence and not seen before or since in Carolina, the player will have more than a few nerves right out the gate. Understandable in the cir- I mean, in these current circumstances. I mean, guys. I mean, he's been sitting on he's been sitting on his couch, being completely focused on the task at hand and getting off to a good start. Something Newton has to do. The coaching staff, Joe Brady in particular, can also assist with early play calls that enable the quarterback to settle down and get himself into rhythm. 
If the Panthers and Newton can do this, then another win won't be too far behind. My second, second way for Cam Newton to take home this W this week is going to be his trust in his playmakers. He must trust his playmakers. Cam Newton will be getting the first team reps in practice throughout this week. As we already know, ahead of it, I mean, ahead of his start since returning. But expecting the quarterback to have a firm grip on Joe Brady's scheme is is unrealistic. That's not to say he won't have any knowledge of the system being around. And Newton did pick up the complex complexity scheme of Josh McDaniels with the New England Patriots pretty quickly. Just watching film, you could see like a nice gradual improve if you watch any of uh, of his games in New England. However, playing the position is all about timing no matter what play is drawn up. That's why it's important for Newton to trust his playmakers rather than, rather than going down the hero ball approach that proved to be Sam Darnold's undoing, to say the least, folks. <laughs> Newton has played with DJ Moore, Chris McCaffrey before, which is going to help. His blossoming relationship with Robbie Anderson is also something that can bear fruit on the field when it matters. This offense needs the energy and the fun that Cam brings. I think like a thousand percent, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> a thousand percent. Thank you. Keep on it! There will be times when Newton has to do it all himself. He's the league's best ever running quarterback, and, and ignoring this would be a mistake by Carolina despite his lack of play, playing time in 2021. Confidence is key. Confidence is key, guys. Confidence is key. I mean, what do you guys think? You guys following me? You guys feel me? You, you agree? Leave your comments below. Let me know. And I'll tell you what, speaking of confidence, Newton has a ton of that, has a ton of that in his own talent. If this can make a smooth transition to his teammates and a full trust in their abilities in the passing game or blocking, this then this is going to be a fun offense to watch, ladies and gents. Enough to give you like those Ooh, wee goosebumps, you know, going down your your arms and everything like that. I think we all had a little bit of that last week, huh? During that Arizona game. <laughs> My third way for Cam Newton to bring home the W against Washington football team. He must maximize his red zone chances. He must. One of the main problems behind Sam Darnold's time under center was his failure to make opportunities count. The defense put the Carolina Panthers in some strong field position on countless occasions during their disappointing run of form. But the signal caller's dwindling confidence became a weak link and a constant source of, of frustration. Cam Newton should reinvigorate things at the business end of the field. He's already demonstrated this by contributing to two Two touchdowns in the sensational win at the Arizona Cardinals. Very enjoyable game. That put the Panthers right back in the NFC South championship picture. Amazing. I mean, <laughs> I love that energy. That that has to be one of my favorite games to watch. I mean, we've, we've literally beat the wheels off of Arizona Cardinals so many times. <laughs> it's unreal. But having Newton on the field changes how opposing defenses approach things. Adding Christian McCaffrey into the mix makes this an unstoppable backfield in short yardage situations. Newton and McCaffrey were grinning from ear to ear on Sunday. In for a Panthers touchdown! Hopefully, this is a trend that continues throughout the next seven games en route to a potential wild card berth. The Panthers oh, are God. sneaking oh, into the playoffs! It's hard to envision a situation where Newton becomes a liability in the red zone. Can you guys envision that? I mean, when I think of Cam, that's really hard not to envision him 
taking advantage and exploiting those red zone opportunities. The Washington football team still has a decent defense despite missing Chase Young and Montez Sweat. So the former number one overall selection needs to go about his business with conviction and take advantage of whatever trips, whatever trips inside the 20 yard line come his way. My fourth and final way of beating the Washington football team. Cam Newton must lead from the front. Am I worried about that? Probably not. But there is an aura around Cam Newton that few players possess. I mean, I haven't seen it in all my years of watching football. His flamboyant, charismatic personality is natural and something players and fans alike gravitate towards. This could make all the difference for the Carolina Panthers' young roster in pursuit of of the same goals. Newton's leadership qualities were visible from the sidelines on Sunday. The veteran had teammates listening to everything he had to say in between offensive drives, and now he'll get the chance to do this on the field in in a starting role. It almost seems like a fairy tale, like I'm still dreaming. (laughs) What about you guys? I mean, has this hit you guys yet? (laughs) Although Newton is keen to focus on the team and winning, leading from the front is something Newton's done throughout his glittering career. And he will need to set the tone in week 11 against a coach who knows his strengths and weaknesses better than anybody. That is one of my thoughts that kind of intrigued me, you know, with uh, Ron Rivera and his knowledge, extensive nine-year knowledge of Cam Newton. Asking a player who will have have been the Panthers for only 10 days when he flies out of the tunnel at Bank of America Stadium, once again, would be too much for some. But as every Carolina fan knows, Newton is no ordinary player. 6'6", about 250, about 5% body fat. That's a mutant walking. No ordinary player. Providing there's no rust, Newton should be able to make big plays, inspire others around him, and make and makes his old head coach pay. We must. This this would also give Panthers a winning record for the first time in a good while, which is exactly why the team brought him back, right? <laughs> I'm surprised people slept on him, folks. I mean, I couldn't believe he, he was on, on the unemployment line that long. It still blows my mind. I bet your teams are regretting it now, huh? <laughs> Thanks for listening. Hey, if you enjoyed this episode and you'd like to help support the podcast, please share it with others. Post about it on your social media. Leave a rating and review. To catch all the latest from me, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Now, the Facebook page is under construction right now, but will be available very soon. Guys, thanks again, and I'll see you next time. Hey, we really appreciate y'all for tuning in. You already know what time it is. Nah, nah. Welcome to the podcast. We gon' keep on pounding, juke them out his cleats. Boy, I'm too fast. Hit the field, no, we gon' spaz. CMC gon' run it back. Defense out here going crazy. Super Bowl, we want it back. Pause up. up. It's on the us. Hit the top. It's time to rock, no, we won't stop. Open it up, I need that block. I got key with me, cold with me, hurts with me, kill with me. Big cat ain't gon' know where you gotta deal with me. Carolina, 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 Carolina. Carolina, 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 Carolina.